Alrighty guys, so I've been auto opening this world for about six hours now. And of course, some of you guys are probably wondering how I got so many shells. Well, that's pretty much easy. You know, there's a glitch going around where if you actually come over here to the summer event and then you teleport to a raid, you can equip your luck or yen fighters, whatever you need. For me, I actually equip my solid gold fighters. That way I'm actually able to farm this boss. And then you just have to rejoin that same server. And then you're pretty much able to actually use those fighters in this map because they'll teleport you back into this map. And sometimes it doesn't work, so you have to try again. I recommend just not moving at all. That way it doesn't mess up so as soon as you teleport to the raid don't move at all that way it doesn't mess up your thing and teleport you back to somewhere else so yeah we grinded quite a lot of stuff here i have 81 new things so let's check out what this is and first of all we got a ton of uh you know big man sunnies here let's equip my best Wait, also i did actually get a new chef made which is pretty cool but i got that a while ago and it doesn't look like we got any new divines which is kind of sad i was hoping to get that gear 5 luffy but it's all good we did get a bunch of shiny you know secrets though i think the shiny secrets the best in the game when it comes to secrets so that's cool but yeah it's pretty much it we didn't get anything else good but now guys what i actually want to do and of course i'm going to still grind this world again later on because it is actually nine o'clock for me so we do have a, another night to grind but what i want to do right now is i actually want to roll some passive so if i open up my discord real quick right i don't know who this person is but uh yeah shout out to this person because they actually you know told us what everything does pretty much so relaxed passive is pretty much 2.5 times damage which honestly isn't that bad for a mythical passive that's more like a secret passive and a flaming passive is times two damage but 0.5 speed which i guess is you know not the worst but not the best and then general passive which is 30 percent team damage which is actually extremely extremely good and then we have light speed passive which honestly is almost like a time lord and a sorcerer combined because again it takes away six hits from that ult ability so that's pretty cool so yeah pretty much what i'm going to try to grind for is that relaxed passive the flaming passive and maybe even general passive because it seems like all of those passives passes right there are really really good so really quick let me actually come to one of these worlds oh yeah also i did actually record a video on the update i just didn't feel like posting it because there was so many bugs and things were just crazy so i didn't feel like posting it so i'm sorry to anyone who was you know waiting for that but yeah right now let me actually put in a fighter that i limit broke but i didn't exactly put passes on yet do i have any fighters that i limit broke oh here it is all right we got this blessing here so bam and then now let's select the things we want i want god monster protagonist time lord light speed i honestly just really want to get general relaxed flaming and honestly i think that's like the best passes right now there's no point in anything else and we have a ton of reroll tokens so i don't think i'm gonna stop until i get one of these so let's see how this goes i'm not gonna lie to you guys i'm really stupid i actually thought that the new passes could also be rolled in like the original passive machine but i guess they can't i'm pretty sure i saw people rolling it in you know the original passive machine though but maybe it was like a glitch and it got patched so i guess the only place you can really roll is here which honestly kind of sucks because how do you even get passive tokens without spending robux like 99 robux is a ton i mean i guess you can use shards oh wait a second i have a ton of shards hold up um actually you know what we could just roll some shards what am i doing oops i did not mean to use my token reroll oh my goodness we got relaxed okay um you know that works <laughs> that literally works i'll take it that's like the best one too i mean i'll take it can't say no to that okay, quit best and honestly you know what since there is a new passive maybe it's about time to roll on some of my other fighters to try to get something better real quick though i'm not exactly sure how this dupe machine works because i do want to actually dupe some of my shards but again i'm not exactly sure how this works so here we, let's put in some of our sand shards let's put in 50 because again i'm not sure how this works and then do i just start clicking or do i start with robux wait, how does this work wait what the how does this machine work i just lost 50 shards wait i'm so confused how does this work or do you have to spend robux oh i think you have to spend robux for this machine oh wait you have to use robux oh okay i'm stupid well honestly that's kind of stupid because now i just lost you know 50 shards because i didn't use robux and i took it out out. that honestly doesn't make any sense you should still keep the stuff you got but yeah now let's actually roll on our i honestly kind of want to roll on my direb because ghostly is like okay it's not the best so you know what yeah i'm gonna roll on my ghostly let's take that thing out the real question is which one is it in i'm gonna guess flame city nope it is not in flame city all right i'm just gonna guess slayer army because it is my best fire so i'd probably put it in here and it is in here bam let's withdraw that first of all let's see how good it is now at level what is it 360 something 364 1.80 so not bad actually no that's pretty bad um let's just start rolling some passives because for a dire it should definitely be a little bit better than that so let's come to summer island and let's start rolling some passives i'm hoping this doesn't cost me like 30 oh my god it does dang it all right 30 is a lot of you know just everything so let's shard reroll this and what do you mean i ran out of rerolls oh i have to roll off of it first wait how did i run out of rerolls um it says use shards okay this thing is so glitched right now so i guess i can't auto reroll 
of that. All right, come on, give me something good here. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh my goodness. 30 shards is a lot of shards to be using on this though. I'm not gonna lie to you. So hopefully we're actually able to get something. And this is pretty much our last row. So come on, please give us something here. I'll take a general, anything. Oh my goodness, no. All right, guys. Well, honestly, first of all, I think this passive machine is kind of stupid. Like you really have to spend Robux to get anything good, first of all. So I think they should honestly just add all these passives to the main passive machine for like the limited event. I don't really see the point of having a whole summer passive machine when we could just have it in the normal passive machine, you know? But whatever, that's just my opinion. It's kind of, you know, weird. So now I have to actually roll something better than this summoner strong. This fight is 30% more damage. Actually, you know what? That's not bad, but of course I'm going to roll it for maybe like a blessing or something. Or actually, what goes good with the blessing? I think blessing and what is it? Some type of damage thing. So I think blessing attacks fast, right? So I would need something that has damage. So maybe like a god? Would blessing and god go together? Well, I don't know. But yeah, we definitely have to try to get some secret passives on our fighters. But for now, I'm going to put this back inside the incubator and we'll roll that later on in the video. But uh, yeah, right now, let me actually do the glitch. And I guess I'll show you guys how to do the glitch. So first of all, there is actually a raid taking place. So let's teleport to that raid. We have to make sure we're in this island first. So let's teleport to this raid. Where in the world is it? Okay, did not show up yet. What the? Oh, wait, no, the raid passed. Okay, I'm stupid. So I got to wait a few minutes for the raid to show up again because I did actually miss that raid. Nice. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure if moving has anything to do with it, you know, not working, but I just suggest you not move. So now what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to rejoin the server and then now it should actually teleport me to that summer island because it shouldn't exactly teleport me back to that same raid. And bam, just like that, now everything works. And I was actually supposed to equip my fighters, but I completely forgot about that. Oops. So that kind of didn't work actually. Here, let me actually call my luck for us. I actually forgot to equip my fighters before I did that. All right, and now let's actually rejoin the server. All right, so now that we rejoin the server, it should work perfectly fine. And bam, just like that. And now I have my luck fighters in here. So yeah, that's pretty much how this glitch works. It's really, really good. Especially if you're trying to get this new divine. You literally have to use this glitch or you just can't get this new divine. Like it's literally impossible. So yeah, pretty much right now I'm good to grind a bunch of, you know, stars because I have so much shells. And yeah, I guess I will open for, well, however long I sleep for, honestly. Which is probably going to be about like maybe nine to seven hours. I don't know. But we'll see, guys, what we could get. Okay, so as you can see right here, I've opened about 3,000 stars now in this new world and let's actually see what we got so let me turn off this tiny task and again let's see what we got here because i'm sure we had to get you know at least a divine even if i didn't get a divine at least like a few shiny mythicals but we have 130 new stuff so let's check that out and let's see what we got come on please give me something good hey we got it let's go all right we finally got this new divine it took quite a while to get but we finally got it taffy cloud which is luffy gear 5 um real quick though let me actually delete all these other fighters because it's kind of taking out my inventory for no reason but was it worth it? Yes, it was worth it because actually I don't even know if it was worth it. I have to see the stats on this thing. But real quick, let me just delete all this. Oh yeah, and also I heard that we're actually gonna be able to level it up after the update. Like we could actually fuse other fighters into it, not just you know summertime fighters, because that would have made the divine literally useless because we can't upgrade it or level it up. But yeah, let's actually just sell all those. Bam. And now let's actually equip our taffy cloud. Oh my goodness. All right, let's make him shiny, of course, because we do have quite a bit of divine fruits here. So let's come to Khmer Jungle. We're in the where is that at? How come I keep losing the world? Oh, it's over here. All right, so now it's unequip him, put him in here. Let's put about 50. I know 50 is like really good, but like I'm gonna put about 60 just to be safe. What is that? 95. What's 100%? 100? 99. Let's put in 99 because I need this to like 100%, you know, succeed. Because that would really suck if I lost this right now. Hey, and there we go. We got it. All right. So now we have a shiny divine. It's happy. So let's equip this thing. Where in the world is it at? All right, there we go. So this is how it looks. Let me actually unequip everything real quick. And now we have it equipped. So this is pretty much a new divine. Took me a while to get. It's actually the last day of this update. So, you know, literally a last minute divine. And let's check the stats. Because I know not a lot of people actually show the stats on this thing. Um, Here it is. Right here. So, shiny, it's 2.4k. Now, I think the um chef mate is 2.2k. So, honestly, guys, I wouldn't really say this is worth it. If you grind, you know, Soul Academy for those new divines, you probably would have been better off. Because it's not exactly that good. And I'm sure not a lot of people have limit broken this fighter yet. But, yeah, it's just honestly not that good. Especially if it's a limited time divine and i'm pretty sure he said like it's gonna be like an overpowered divine or really really good divine but maybe it's attack speed is overpowered here let me actually go to the underworld real quick just to do some tests maybe it's like attack speed is overpowered or something let's see okay so now i'm just noticing that it literally takes 10 seconds or 10 hits to actually do its ult which is honestly pretty crazy um we definitely have to get you know a sorcerer on this fighter and you know i would roll and go for the new summer passes but the only problem is i have like nothing like i don't even have enough shards for that and actually you know what we could actually do a raid i may end up just doing that raid right now well not a raid but dungeon all right so let's make sure
sure we have this dungeon on Summertime Island and the friends only. Oh yeah, also, speaking of this update, there was actually a glitch like the beginning of the update where, you know, people are getting like insane amounts of stuff from dungeons and stuff like that. If you guys have anything you're willing to trade me, let me know in the comments with your username down below because I'm not gonna lie to you, I need some fragments and I heard some people are getting like 700 like blue fragments from just one chest. So, you know, if you guys have anything you're willing to spare me, drop your username in the comments because, you know, I am trying to get better, but, uh, you know, the economy is actually ruined, mostly from this update now because that was a huge amount of stuff people were getting. And, you know, if you have some extra stuff, you know, why not just give it to me, you feel me? But it's all good if you can't because, you know, I'm just have to grind for it. But again, if you guys have any extra stuff, just let me know in the comments with your username because I saw one dude literally get like 12k passive tokens from one chest, even though I know he capped it out and people who did the glitch only have like 10k now. Realistically, when are you going to use 10k passive tokens? Like, if I'm being honest, even to get like a secret passive, it doesn't take 10k tokens. You could probably get it within like 1k tokens, honestly. But yeah, anyways, let me actually finish this dungeon real quick. And why is my drop boost not here? Right, there it is. And yeah, I'll come back once we finish this. All right, so now we actually completed this raid. Let's see what we got here. So we didn't get any dungeon tokens, which is, uh, you know, unfortunate. We got a few more passive tokens, which is good. And then the vine fruits and uh, other things I can't even see because they're pretty much maxed out. And I actually meant to use those divine fruits to actually upgrade that fighter that I got, but I forgot or upgrade the talents. And then sand shards, we have 77 of them. Now, it just so happens that there's actually a raid happening at Summer Island. So let's actually come over there and let's do that real quick. Actually, no, before we do that, let me actually upgrade that fighter that we just got in Destiny Island. So I definitely need to get this thing better. So let's upgrade all these talents real quick. Bam. And now how good is it? Okay, 45 billion. I think before it was like 20 billion or something. So not bad. And actually, you know what I just realized? I forgot to take out my fighters out the incubator. I think they should be max level now. Yeah, they are. Wow, that kind of sucks. I should have put them in the incubator a while ago. I can't believe I forgot to max them out. That's crazy. All right, let's put in our bloodshed there. And yeah, let me just take them all out and then we could do that raid. All right, so these are pretty much our new fighters now. Our team is literally a half limit broken divines, which is pretty cool. And actually, you know what? I just realized my dire does actually have a summer strong. So we're going to have to upgrade that even though it does 35% more damage, but I'm sure we can get something better than that. And yeah, this is pretty much our team. This is not exactly our main team because I did put like some of my other good fighters in the incubator right now. But yeah, our fighters are really, really good right now. They could, of course, be better if I got better passes and stuff like that on them. But for now, that's how they are. So let's actually do this raid real quick. And hopefully I can get like 100 shards from this. Okay, you know what? That's actually not bad. 146 is pretty good. So let's come to Summertime Island. And let's actually try to roll for some, uh, you know, new fighters or passives. I'm having so many brain flights today. It's not even funny. Actually, you know what? Let's start off with my dire up here because um, I just need something on him, really. So let's roll one time. Come on, give me something good. Oh my God, light speed. Come on, come on. A little bit more, a little bit more. No. Oh, brother. All right. I'm only going to go down to like 100 shards and I'll try to roll on that Luffy, but we'll see how this goes. Come on, come on. A little bit more. Oh my God, this game. Yeah, these new passes are literally impossible to get, even though they're so good, but it's not looking too good. I'm going to roll one more time. Actually, no, I'm just going to keep rolling on this fighter because there's no point in rolling my Luffy when I came and upgrade him right now. Also, let me know in the comments when this event ends. I'm not sure if it's going to get extended or not, but I think it definitely should because of all the glitches that happened that first day. But come on, give me a good passive. Oh my God, I really ended up with the same passive. This is terrible. All right, guys. Well, that, that's pretty much it for this video. We actually finally got, you know, the new Divine. Again, he could have been a little bit better, in my opinion, even though, you know, he's a Divine. I still feel like he could have been a lot better. And you know what I just realized? The Summer Leader only gives 2% team damage. That's literally terrible. I thought this would give at least like 20%, but but 2% is crazy. So yeah, that's pretty much it. We got the new Divine. And yeah, if you guys have a lot of items, let me know in the comments if you'd like to trade them. And yeah, if you haven't already, make sure to like button and subscribe so you never miss a video like this. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.